Last week, I had a chance to spend a few hours with a record store owner and get a uh, and get a run through of his store to interview him. His name is Takeshi, and his store is Echo Store Records, located in Jimbocho, and uh, it's also close to Sweet Obashi Station, around a 10-minute walk from each, and I'll include his address and a map um, in this video, and uh, I had a great time. Uh, he loves British traditional and folk music. He knows so much about it, even went to uh, the UK to follow up on the life of Nick Drake, and he's a lover of, of psych and UK psych music, which is really evident in this video. And um, he's a sound guy um, by trade. He did uh, sound for live houses, which are uh, live performing houses uh, in Tokyo. And he works a lot with uh, with young musicians. And his, his laugh is infectious. His humor is infectious. He's an incredible, charming guy. And I think I was really lucky to have him be the first record store owner to interview and i hope you like this video my channel ricefield records please like and subscribe and let's go I bet. I love sati. Sati. It's very much like sati. Yeah. Yeah, so you should like this. Yes. At my shop, I'm listening to various kinds of music. Uh, inside my room, <laughs> yeah, there's no beat, just a piano sound. Uh, yeah, this entry. I fall in love with the classical music. Love money now. Yeah, but at my younger age, I didn't care about the classical music. But the this entry. I'm <laughs> making the neo classical earlier. Okay. But uh, there's no sign. section for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the uh, Stravinsky. And, uh, yeah, the Bach. Uh, Nick Wright loves to play the Bach. And uh, I love the uh, John Lambon from the Pentangle. He covered a lot, lot of medieval music just uh, using guitar, acoustic guitar. So yeah, it used to be a sound mom. For what types of venues? What types of... Uh... Uh, just uh, in Osaka, um, Hard Rain, the library called Hard Rain. Rain. Uh -huh. uh, the owner was the manager of the Yukadan. Yukadan is the yeah, most famous blues style band from the early 70s. So I moved to Tokyo at my age of 31. But you chose Kudanshita for your, for your shop. Mm, no, it's uh, just a relationship. I have the uh, relation strong relationship with the owner uh, before I begin the record shop. London, where the Pink Floyd and the other British psychedelic band uh, like the Soft Machine. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, he he was a good producer of the British music in late sixties, but uh, he decided uh, went back U.S. maybe around nineteen seventy two. So Nick was so disappointed. He returned to America, so he released uh, Pink Moon, his last album. Yeah, always I'm think always the young talented uh, musicians, the young talented artists. Yeah, I won't uh, give many chance to them. Uh, not for the, not only for the vinyls, just uh, playing music, right? And uh, DJing, introducing good music, and uh, yeah, recently, uh, young customers uh, teach me good psychedelic music. Yeah, new music. Yes, good. So yeah. It's a good relationship. Young customers taught me uh, present good music. I know the yeah <laughs> late sixties, early seventies. I can teach them. Right. But they teach them. Yes. They can't teach me. When I was young, there's no aged people who uh, could uh, teach me. So I want to be not teacher, just a helper. <laughs> yeah, it's not for the business, just uh, thinking, thought. Is this all super rare? Is this whole thing very rare? No, 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 no. no. Okay, where are your rarest records? Hmm? Show me your, show me your most special, your favorite ah, sections. Yeah. All right, all right. Show it to me. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, difficult. <laughs> so difficult. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. Take your time. Maybe I love this corner. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe there are yeah, many record shop doesn't have the corner like uh, British folk and the trout. They don't have a section yeah, that is British. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Wow, look at that. I love Nick Drake, as you said. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said. And, uh, yeah. I'm investigating the British trot music, traditional music. Because the Nick Drake used to play with the Bart Yansh and the Basti Banyan and the uh, John Lembon. So, yeah, I went to the many places, uh, folk club in London. What years were you in London? What years did you visit? Uh, club Cousins uh, at Soho. But uh, it changed the uh, yeah, fucking techno place. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I can feel the yeah, it existed. <laughs> and the uh, Nick was there. You went there afterwards. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, this section. I'm proud of this section. Gotcha. Yeah. You should be. 
Yeah. I, 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 yeah, mainly. <laughs> that section. Yeah, yeah. I love the psychedelic music from all over the world. And uh, I, yeah, individually, Kojin Tekinua, Record uh, uh, I'm collecting the finals released in 1969. It's a peak of the psychedelic. The after, yeah, 70 and the 71, uh, it changes the, yeah, not tube, tube sound to the truck, truck, truck. <laughs> Just a, uh, まあ、技術が変わるから、機材が変わっていくから、サウンドも変わっていく。だから、69年が一番僕は好き。で、69年ぐらいのブリティッシュ electric plot. Uh, maybe they found uh, their own British roots music after hearing the band from US. Wow, this is rare. Yes. This is Linda's fine, right? Yeah, and uh, maybe only Japanese uh, presence. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, thinking about the uh, uh, the band from the U.S. traditional music and uh, combined uh, together. The uh, folk rock, they creating own folk rock music. And, uh, maybe the British musician uh, listen to the band. And uh, oh, there's no British own roots. Wow, traditional music. And uh, they uh, arranged uh, traditional ballad without any instruments, but uh, they created the part of the electric bass, electric guitar, the acoustic guitar. So, yeah, that's why i so interested in the British folk music. And uh, yeah, US folk roots music also. Who are some artists in that bin? that are special? Ah, uh, like, like Ben Tengu, like Lindis Band. Yeah, the band. The band. The band. Robbie Robertson, the yes. band. Yes, they found and uh, they mixed the US roots music yes. to the folk rock. And uh, yeah, maybe they found uh, US roots music uh, is still have the uh, power and uh, combine it together. And uh, also they played with the Bob Dylan. Yes. Yeah. So the same stream, maybe, US stream, UK stream. And uh, we Japanese have the own traditional music. Yes. But uh, there's no chance to listen to because the instrument <laughs> is the ancient style and the menial things it's not the history like a show from shore so we don't have the yeah we have own roots music but uh, we don't have the Right, that's who I was thinking. Yeah. The pre war blues that that is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of this I bet. section. I bet you are. Yeah. I love the sound of SP monolaw sound. SP. SP. What is SP? Uh, 
before the block final, just uh, 40s, 1940s, the heavy one. 78. Yes, like this. Boom, chule. <laughs> On the speaker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no master tape. They, uh, just from the disc. Right. SP disc. Right. So, warm sound, warm monoral sound, and the chili pachi. Like uh, sound of the lay. Chili Pachi, <laughs> is is um, is is um, scratches. Like this. <laughs> Maybe the SP. It's from the SP noise. Ah, this one. I love Chili Pachi. Chili Pachi. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Go I'm gonna dig. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, could I smoke? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, it doesn't smell bad. Oh, <laughs> you choose. So everything is very personal for you because these are all your records. It's a weird. Uh, they're from America, maybe, but uh, they're playing like the British traditional music, but a little bit secondary taste. And this is from the sixties. Maybe six, like six. Maybe Nymphs six. and Satyrs. Ah, no, middle, middle 70s. Probably so few people know about this music. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Look at this. Yeah. It's a reissue. Uh huh. Uh, it's a famous reissue letter from the cycle. 80s press. The original one, a little bit expensive, but the cycle is not uh, exist anymore. Just the 80s reissue, psychedelic reissue level. And the sounds bad. Sounds bad. <laughs> it's just a bad recording. Yeah. Uh, hey, Alan Franklin. Maybe from the disc. It's not from the master Disc. Wow, this is such obscure stuff. Yes, it's a US, yeah, minor, underrated psychedelic, but, but so great. When, do you, when did you buy these records for yourself? When? Yeah. Uh, yeah, from e everywhere, from customers, from uh, the, my high school era choice and uh, I read a lot of disc guide uh, do you know oh, Pakora? no it's a uh, English book for the psychedelic lovers there are a lot of psychedelic found disc guide this is familiar yeah yeah And this is a this is a U.S. pressing. Yeah. Very reasonable. Mm. There's no discogs in Japan. Mm. Discogs. Have you heard of discogs? Ah, uh, yeah. I have a page, but I I won't sell online right now. Just uh, yeah. Well, you're not an exporter. You have to make a decision. You have to decide to be an exporter, and that's a complicated no, decision. No, no. Uh, it's my policy, like policy. Uh, I'm cherishing the customers who come here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. Uh, I'm, if I sell online, this goes 
Yeah, for auction. Maybe it's easy to get money. Yep. But uh, I don't want to. Just you for the customers. You want connection with the, with the buyers. Yes. Personal connection with the yeah. buyers. And uh, like 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 this situation. Mm -hmm. Talking about the music mm -hmm. and the background. Uh, what's your favorite artist? Something like that. It's important for me. When do you have visitors? When do you have a nighttime scene here? When do young people come here? Or when do you want young people to come here? Maybe almost all customers uh, seeing the Instagram page. And, yeah. Uh, maybe the, my recommended, I post it every uh, open hours. Just recommended one. Just uh, they could feel the taste of me. So that's why I don't sell vines online. When you show your taste through through the photos on Instagram, people have a sense of you visual, just by looking at these pictures, and then they come and they either have questions or they come and they buy yeah. a record mm -hmm. based on the fact that you're showing it to them. You recommend it. By showing it, you recommend it. Yeah. And they can come and talk to you about it. Yes, yes. yes. Because you have a personal connection yes. with the record. And the communication like this. Right, right. Yeah, I love the music. Of the course. The loves music. Yeah. Uh, we are the friend, <laughs> just like that. And sometimes I don't want to. Sometimes, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's important for me. Just communication. Are you a select shop? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's not the typical. I don't deal with the typical one. You can go to the, any label shop. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. People want me to take pictures of Kraut Rock records in Japan. Yeah, always lack of the stock uh, for the Kraut Rock. Why is that? Maybe everybody such a for and uh, can't stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Almost all crowd rock buyers uh, comes through the door. <laughs> Easy, because yeah. I would think that for many decades, nobody nobody knew about can or cared about can. But re I think that for many decades, mm -hmm. people did not really yeah. know about them or care about them. They were an obscure group. Yes. But I think over the past 10, 20 years, yeah. there's been, they've come back into favor. Yeah. Real, real strong favor. Yeah. It's, not, uh, it's far from the U.S. music scene. Very. Yeah. It's far from U.K. scene. Yep. Just a, yeah, special thing. Yeah. Uh, but we Japanese uh, influenced by the US, UK music. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. True. But uh, yeah, special. Uh, same as the Italian progressive rock. Yeah, there, are, there are some in, in Nishi Shinjuku. There were some specialty record stores. Um, Garden Shed. They have only um, CDs of Prague oh. record of music all over the world. Their specialty is uh, Prague. Yeah, yeah. And I think that probably... Mm -hmm. <sighs> the only CDs? Only CDs. Uh, only so. CDs. Uh, but I think that building has got... There's a lot of European Prague specialty stores in that building. That's why I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Many vinyls. Wow, I haven't seen this in a long time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Family. Wow. Is this a bootleg? No, no, no. It's a... What a strange cover. I've never seen this. So you go. Yeah. You yeah, can. yeah. Yeah. You can read it at a distance. Yeah. Maybe there's no US pressings. This is in fantastic condition. Around the 70, mm -hmm. the UK pressings sounds so good. So, so good. And Japanese take such good care of their records. Yeah, but, uh, everybody uh, searching for the Japanese pressings, but uh, I don't think the Japanese pressings sound, sound so good. Why is that? Uh, too much comp comp compression. The newer, the newer pressing, the newer recordings, or the older ones? The old, older pressings. Uh, yeah, around 65. Uh, Pera Jake. Uh, Pera Jake. The same jacket, Japanese jacket. The before the left vinyl. Uh, Pera Jake era sounds so good. Para jacket. Yeah. What is para jacket? Uh, Ooh, Hawkwind. Okay. Uh, okay. Similar to the I've seen this before. Uh, UK flip back style. Uh, middle of sixties Japanese musical com music company yeah. imitates the UK style flip okay. back jacket. But the, uh, around seventies, uh, almost all the Japanese recording company uh, imitates the U.S. style. Okay. Uh, thick, thick jacket. Okay. But the, it's called the, in Japanese, pera jacket. Okay. Pera means the thin. Uh, uh, among the record dealers, uh, Japanese flip back. Around this era, Sounds so good. So good. So good. Okay. But uh, around 70s, too much com compression. Okay. So the understanding in the, in, from outside Japan is that you say compression, and the understanding from, from, from Westerners is the bass is turned down. Ah, bass, no, eh? Is that the same thing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. My understanding has been they turn the bass down because people live in small homes mm -hmm. and the vibrations from a stereo annoyed mm -hmm. the neighbors. Maybe, mm, maybe, uh, it's not, it was not the main reason. What was the main reason? Yeah, but uh, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, one of the reasons. What's another reason? Yeah, mm, just, uh, yeah, I guess just the power of electricity. To save money on electricity? 
No, uh, US 110. Yeah. Uh, Japan, here in Japan, just 100. Okay. Euro, over 200. High power. And uh, that's why the German pressings, uh, the UK pressings, around the uh, late 60s, early time of 70s, sound so good. Maybe cutting machine, uh, almost all cutting machine from the German company. And uh, uh, Japan doesn't, didn't have the much power to cutting the master metal disc. So I guess, I guess, maybe the power of electric, electricity. Okay. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> and the engineer, uh, the skip, maybe so low at that time. Okay. Well, that's another, that's a, they just didn't know. Mm. After that, maybe good, 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 good. And the uh, 80s Japanese just reissue. So. It's funny, you know, there's, there, there are people that love Japanese pressings and there are other people that just don't. Mm -hmm. But the reasons are always so... Intricate. In, yeah, yeah. Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> but interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Think about history. Yep, think about history. Yeah. And sometimes when I'm at Japanese shops and I meet, I meet Japanese collectors... They're only looking for American original pressings <laughs> or UK original pressings. Yeah. Because yeah. they like the history. Mm, mm, mm. It's simply the history. Yeah. And for the Americans, with the OB, it's simply the novelty. <laughs> yes. It's just the novelty, right? Yes, yes. I mean, they can't read it. It's not the musical thing, just uh, for the graphics. For the graphics, yeah. Yeah, more... The paper's not special. It's yes. cheap, cheap paper. Yes. Right? That's it. Yeah. I don't care about the uh, OB. But uh, as a record shop owner... <laughs> you know that the OB raises the value. Yeah. I have to. But uh, right. I don't care about that. Right. Yeah. This, this friend of mine, uh, a Japanese collector, uh, told me that when he was a teenager, he and his brother would rip the OB off of the record... Because they wanted the record to look more American. Yes. Same as me. Same as you, right? Yeah. Uh, inside the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you put it back in. At least you saved it. Yes. yes yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I found the Obi inside the jacket. Sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Price up. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But I don't care about Obi. The music is important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The music is important. Yes. 